What's up, King Creator fans? Ready for the syringe? Today's first invention is directed more than anything to rich people who find themselves looking for a fun way to throw their money away. Eat several Magnum popsicles to get some wooden sticks. Put them side by side to form a little board. The last stick will be used to measure the width of the board. After marking the marks, cut what we do not need with scissors. Use the piece we just cut to measure another popsicle stick. Then cut it. Here comes the super glue. Place a small dot on each wooden stick and glue one of the pieces you cut on top. Do the same to the bottom. That's how wooden fences are made. Now you can fence off half your room if you share it with your brother. Cut the rounded edges off at the ends of the fences. In the meantime, let's chat. Has anyone here seen the movie Richie Rich? That kid with so much money that he had a personal McDonald's inside his mansion. I barely have a refrigerator. Find a couple more popsicle sticks and measure them using one of the ready-made boards. Cut off the excess from both wooden sticks. Get your lovely wallet and take out a dollar and quarters, or if you're from England, four pounds. What a comparison. Place them on the board in a straight line and use them to mark where the two other wooden sticks should be glued. What about the bills? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Prepare two more wooden sticks just like the previous ones to glue them on top of the others with our super glue. Then place more glue on top and attach the other half of the coin launcher. I told you it would be an invention for members of high society. Mark the circumference of another identical coin with a pencil on this upper part. Remove the marked circle with a drill. If you have a drill bit of the same caliber, it will be much easier for you. Once ready, glue it on. Now we have this wooden tablet that reminds me of the ones that appear in Fortnite. What? None of you play? Insert two popsicle sticks through the hole in the board we assembled and put glue on the bottom stick. Attach another stick to the protruding one and then one more to the last one. Cut off all the leftovers. This compressed wood will be what launches millions of coins you want to throw at your birthday or wedding. Measure another popsicle stick using the short end of the wooden frame and cut off the extra. With the compressed wood inside the structure, apply glue to the protruding piece. Then add these two pieces of wood, one on each side. You haven't forgot the syringe that we cut off at the beginning, have you? Glue it just above the hole in the structure. Get a couple of rubber bands which we'll place on the longer sides of the board. Make sure that they have a good grip on it. They'll take care of firing the coins. Take the rubber support off of the syringe. This will serve as a cartridge cover. Now take all those coins you don't want anymore and start loading your money launcher. I don't recommend loading more than $5. As you can see, it's very affordable. Place the cover on the feeder and press down well to prevent them from falling out. Ready? Entertainment for the upper class. This is how Mark Zuckerberg spends his time when he's bored of spying on us through Facebook. Be very careful where you aim. You might give someone a 25 cent bruise. All you mere mortals like me, don't forget to pick up the coins again. To show its power, let's fire some coins at the Pringles can. Hi, May! Bring me more coins! I've already used up the half a million you brought me 15 minutes ago. They don't make butlers like they used to. The next invention is not so extravagant. In fact, it may even be horrifying to some. But it's us or them. Trace a circle on a piece of cardboard and cut it out with scissors. Don't mind my trimming. I failed my art class. Today, we ate a lot of ice cream for this video, and you're probably full by now but I'll have to ask you to eat one more. Cut the excess, then glue it to one side of the tape roll. Put a lot more of our super glue around the roll and glue the cardboard circle on top. It should look something like this. With the help of a sharp tool, create two holes, one on each side towards the edge. Get a thick wooden stick and measure 20 centimeters with a ruler. Do the same to the other one. Mercilessly saw both sticks on the marks, and once cut, insert each one into a hole in the cardboard. Don't forget to put glue. Are you guys afraid of rats and mice? I'm not, but let's just say I prefer them far away. Tell us in the comments what animal you're afraid of. Flip the object over and measure another popsicle stick. Remove the ends. 
and put glue on the two wooden sticks to glue it down. The base shouldn't wobble at all, so let's fix it immediately by gluing two more pieces of wood underneath. Now take a wooden stick, but this time with a square shape. Measure it and make two 12 centimeter marks. Then saw it with a handsaw. With the two pieces ready, mark them both right in the middle to glue them together, forming a cross. Cut the ends off of another popsicle stick and measure four centimeters. All this measuring is making me dizzy. Use this piece to replicate it four times. These will be the executioners of our ratatouille trap. Make a rounded cut on each piece so that the ends are pointed. Using sandpaper, sharpen each one for easy slicing and attach them to each end of the cross. They remind me of sides. I always wanted one as a kid. For some strange, dark reason, I like the idea of being a black angel that fought with a giant, sharp side. Make several shallow cuts in the strip of cardboard with the box cutter to make it more flexible and adapt it to the shape of the base where it will be glued. We're just a few steps away from finally finishing and going to sleep. Create two small holes in the cardboard using your mini drill. This is what they should look like on the inside. Get the galvanized wires that I hate so much Cut a piece, bend it, and insert it through the two holes. I hate this type of wire, thanks to my school modeling teacher. It was so hard to bend to the desired shape. Ah, oh, bad memories. I know that you're also probably fed up with so many popsicle sticks, but what else can we do? I promise you that these won't be the last. After assembling them, glue a series of sticks along the length of board as steps for rodents. But to do so, they must first be cut to the right size. Be sure to glue the seven steps an equal distance apart so that the mouse can easily climb to its end. Cut the round ends of the stairs to avoid installation complications. Place glue on one of the edges and attach it to the base of the structure. Get a few rubber bands which will play a very important role. Put them in the center of the deadly crosshead like you see on the screen, and then hook them onto the two posts of the structure. If you want to do a little test, just turn the whole thing in the opposite direction of the sharp wooden points and let it go. This will make it clear that anything that falls into this trap will get more than just a good scare. Be gone for good. The only thing left to do is to prepare the bait. Any self-respecting trap must have something appetizing to attract the prey. Pass the device through the wire slit and place a small stick there to act as a safety device. As it's mainly intended for rodents, and it's well known from cartoons that rodents are especially fond of Gruyere cheese, place some on top of the safety stick. When the enemy is attracted by the offering, I'll take it, and the sharp blades of the cross will be activated. Let's use this defenseless balloon as the test rack. As soon as the cheese is removed, the blades begin to turn, and it's taken to sleep with the fishes. No rat will be left standing. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.